Hello everyone. Right now it is Sunday, January 17th, uh, 3-ish a.m. Yes, I'm still very jet lagged, but I thought since today I'll be wrapping up the first week of quarantine and orientation that I would give an update on how that's going so far. And since I thought that it might be a bit boring if I'm just talking at the camera, I also am going to just play clips of all the amazing food we've been getting here while I talk. It still doesn't really feel like I'm in Korea yet since I've just been inside this room the whole time. Honestly, the first week was pretty much a huge mess. <laughs> first of all, just fighting with how dry it is. The room is so dry, so that was causing a lot of like physical problems. Like my hands were peeling like crazy from all the hand washing and just the dryness. It was difficult to breathe because it, the air was so dry and like if I blew my nose it would be kind of bloody. So our orientation schedule every day is pretty much 8 to 9 is breakfast delivered to our room. 9 to 1 is Korean class, 1 to 2 is lunch, 2 to 5 is teaching and cultural workshops, and then 6 to 7 is dinner, and then 7 to 9 is Korean class office hours and supplementary classes. But those were all like little things, but then I guess the straw that broke the camel's back was when I woke up one morning and I had cold sores like all around the perimeter of my mouth, which kind of freaked me out because when I've had them in the past, they've only been in like one corner and yeah, it still hasn't healed yet, but it, I think it's in the process of healing now instead of getting worse, thank goodness. And so after that happened, I was just like, what am I doing here? I want to go home. I... <laughs> I miss my job, which I actually knew how to do. <laughs> One day I was listening to Palette by IU, which isn't a sad song or anything. It's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> I just started crying. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, I was feeling pretty down the first week, but now I think I'm starting to do better again. Some good things that have happened so far. Korean class is going well and our class is only six people including me so I really like small sized language classes. The teachers are really good and I thought four hours of Korean a day would be like crazy difficult to get through since the longest class I've ever taken was three hours a day and those classes were only once a week but we get a break every hour so it goes by not as slowly as I thought and sometimes in the middle of Korean class I'll just suddenly become aware like wow the teacher is speaking in entirely Korean and I can understand pretty much everything and then it just feels kind of amazing <laughs> Yeah, as you can see from the clips, the food has been so good. I am so impressed. Like, I knew it would be good because Korean cafeteria food is already really good. But yeah, it's been delicious. And every day for every meal, I think it's two different ajashis that deliver our meals. One of them, he will knock on the door and then say, Shiksa haseyo, which means kind of like, please have your meal, and then when I go pick it up and I yell, Kamsamnida across the hallway, he doesn't really respond. But the other Ajashi, he like aggressively like bangs on the door and doesn't say anything. But when I go pick up my food and say, Kamsamnida, he says, Ne. <laughs> so yeah, love the food Ajashis. The food has been so good. Another good thing is, I'm so glad that I brought my yoga mat, so I've been exercising and stretching every day, so I'm glad I've been keeping up that routine. Since we have like seven to eight hours of programming every day, and this chair that I'm sitting on is just a wooden chair and it's so hard and I just can't sit on this the entire day, so I built myself a standing desk with the extra furniture in this room and that's been great. I just 
prop my laptop up on the box and, and then I have room to like write in my Korean workbook and stuff like that. And I also started kind of, I guess, solving the problems one by one that I was complaining about earlier, like the the dryness of the room. We can't really buy anything right now since we're in quarantine. So I just have been leaving the kettle lid open and boiling it throughout the day so that the water or the steam comes up and humidifies my room. So that's been working pretty well. Not as much bloody nose anymore. As for the jet lag, I'm I'm just telling myself like it's not something that I can control what time I'm waking up. And in one of my favorite books called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, the author talks about how like no one died from having a bit of insomnia, but people have definitely died from worrying about insomnia. So I'm just trying not to worry about it. <laughs> oh yeah, every day at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. I have to take my temperature and report it to these two quarantine apps so that the Korean government knows if you're developing a temperature or any symptoms and one of the apps also just tracks your location the entire time so they can make sure you're not breaking quarantine. Yeah, I guess one thing that I'm most worried about right now is whenever we have a teaching workshop I start to feel super overwhelmed and I'm just like I have no idea what I'm doing I don't know how to teach and then now I'm just trying to tell myself the Fulbright application process is supposed to be very competitive my application had to get through several rounds in the process all of these qualified people wouldn't have picked me to participate in this program if they thought I couldn't do it, so... So, yeah. <laughs> One more week of quarantine to go, and then at the end of quarantine, if I test negative for COVID, then we'll be able to move out of the storm, and we'll be moving into another dorm, and then finally be able to go outside. Oh, another cool thing that happened was yesterday, for lunch. I had a really good meal and the soup was uh, beef radish soup and then I thought to myself all of these soups have been really good uh, but we haven't had doenjang jjigae and I really want to have that and then for dinner we had doenjang jjigae. <laughs> I love it when stuff like that happens. That's all I can think of for right now. So I guess I will stop recording here and try to go to sleep. Fingers crossed. Bye!